Hey, what's going on guys? So uh, today I want to talk about a Benchmade automatic. This is the Casbah, all right? And this one is the 4400-1. All right, save the uh, box here so you guys can see this. All right, so Casbah is spelled 4400-1. There are some uh, other variants on this knife. Um, so obviously this one is blue, but they do make uh, black versions. I think they have black blades and so forth. Um, but I got this knife in a trade, and I mentioned in a previous video that this was kind of a sleeper knife. This is a knife that I wasn't even aware of until it was offered in the trade. Um, and uh, as soon as I took a look at it, I thought, oh, it looks pretty nice. I didn't think they put like a lot of value into it. I, I love autos, you guys know that. I don't carry them very often just because of Pennsylvania laws, which are ridiculous. So that's for a whole separate rant, which I've done before. Um, <laughs> so uh, unfortunately, they don't get as much use. Uh, out and about. Uh, I have carried them, you know, I can openly admit that, it's whatever. Uh, but I don't generally uh, actually EDC them. So all the use gets uh, done around the house. Now on this one, this actually got uh, a fair amount of regular use for actual chores, but I never actually got to test it. Now when I say test it, uh, when I have a knife that I want to do a review on, I'll purposely go out of my way, cut a bunch of cardboard down. Uh, sometimes I'll do some um, uh, little water jugs, you know, the gallon jugs, which I, I drink water all the time. Uh, you know, back when I had Gus, Gus drank water all the time, so I had tons and tons of those plastic, uh, you know, gallon jugs. And lately I've been drinking a lot more water, so it's a good good medium to cut through. It's something different than cardboard, which is most of my cutting. But sometimes I'll break out some uh, power cord as well, do some cuts on power cord, all kinds of things. But that's like purposely going out of my way to test a knife, all right? Because when you EDC a knife, yeah, there's tons of things you have to cut in your daily life. That's why we all love knives. But it doesn't happen every single day, it doesn't happen often, you know what I'm saying? It's just very situational. And in my lifestyle, I don't need to cut stuff every single day when I'm out and about. So uh, long story short, this is not like a full review on this knife, it's just based on um, pretty much first impressions, all right? So the one thing that really stood out about this knife is uh, the fact that it is so lightweight, all right? This only comes in at 3.4 ounces It's because of this uh, grivery uh, handle. I'll give you a zoom in on here. Let me move the box out of the way. So yes, we have a, a blue grivery handle. What is grivery? Well, it's just a synthetic. Um, I think Cold Steel uses a lot of grivery. Specific, uh, I guess, name for this particular plastic. That's all it is, plastic. Um, but that allows the knife to be super lightweight. Very, very simple. Not a whole lot going on here. Um, I do really like the, uh, the handle shape. I like the texture it's on here. Let me give even more of a zoom. You can see there's like a very, I don't know. I don't know what you'd call that, like marble vein type texture. It's very grippy. It's really nice. It's not quite like, you know, it's nowhere near skateboard uh, tape or anything, but it is quite grippy. See, it's also on the reverse. Now you can see the pocket clip does land on that. Has not been too much of a problem. I did actually carry this in the pocket around the house. Obviously, as I mentioned before, I couldn't really carry it out and about. Um, yeah, it has a little bit more grip than if it was smooth, but it's not like ridiculous or anything. Uh, not too many issues there. Let me give you some uh, specs on this one. This has a 3.4 inch CPM S30V blade. All right, close. This knife is 4.4 inches long and open it is 7.8 inches. All right, this has a coil spring, push button automatic. It is fairly fast. It's definitely not the fastest. It's not the slowest. Um, it is nice and smooth. Most important, uh, there is no blade play. All right, that's very important uh, for your automatics. There is a safety switch here, so when the knife is open or closed, you can, um, of course, engage that switch so it does not accidentally close. And then more importantly, you can engage the switch when carrying the knife so it does not accidentally open. All right. Pretty cool though, I mean, this is very lightweight, very, very usable. The CPM S30V blade is uh, pretty awesome. Very, very simple blade profile, a little bit of a drop point here. Uh, so you have a lot of straight edge, just a little bit of belly up front. It's a little bit more of a rounded tip. It's not super acute, okay, which leads uh, to a little bit more hard use without any issues, you know, snapping or bending your tip or anything like that. Um, it's just a great, just EDC auto. You know, if you're one of those people that are able to EDC an automatic or you prefer automatics over manual folders, this one's something I would definitely recommend, like a thousand percent. I was very impressed with this, uh, with the, you know, little use that I got on it. Um, but really it stands out as something special because it's so lightweight. 
What's really interesting is I get a ton of people ask me about, you know, knife recommendations every single day. Every day I get, you know, as little as five and as many as 30. All right, what knife should I get? I have this money, or I have this knife and I want this knife, or um, here's three knives that I, I'm looking at, which one should I get? I get that every day, literally every day in messages. And um, what I don't often get is I don't often get um, people asking for a lightweight automatic. All right, that's kind of rare. People will, when they're talking about regular folders or even fixed blades, sometimes they'll say, well, I don't want something too heavy. I want something lightweight, but never specifically autos. I don't know why, maybe because there's so much restriction on automatic knives, maybe less people are carrying it. So weight's not that much of an issue. It's more for a fun factor. It's more around the house and stuff. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, if you were ever in the market for a lightweight automatic that is extremely capable, full size, um, I would definitely recommend this one, all right? Dealer's price on this is around 165, which is fantastic for what it's offering. Uh, I'm definitely down with the price. It's totally uh, in the realm of reality. Sometimes knives are priced a little bit higher than what we'd love to see them. I mean, of course, we like them all to be cheaper. I'd love for this to be 100 bucks, but it is what it is. At 165, can't really complain that much. Um, does have the very long, deep conceal clip, right? Now, even though it's a deep conceal clip, you can see it doesn't go all the way to the bottom of the knife. We do have a lanyard hole on there, all right? So you have basically that showing, which is not much. Um, and as I mentioned before, even though it's landing on the textured part of the handle, it's not too bad at all to get it out of the pocket, and that's mostly because it has a good amount of flex on it, okay? Very important. If this was a stiffer clip, that would probably create a lot of problems with that grip. Um, but yeah, very crisp lockup, okay, with this little lock switch. Um, you know, like I said, it's not the fastest, it's not the uh, coolest, but this is like one of the most useful as far as being a lighter automatic knife. Uh, just really, really cool. Um, this one is actually being traded away. Hey Jeff, if you like it so much, why are you trading away? <laughs> That's a good question. Because I constantly have to trade stuff that I like in order to get new stuff. That's just how it works. So to be honest, I'll be very sad to see this one go, but this is part of a group trade and uh, it's this knife and I'm trading that uh, customized mini Griptilian with those uh, carbon fiber scales. I love both knives, but it's an opportunity to get more knives. That's what I do, I trade knives. So uh, yes, I will be very sad to see this one go. I was actually <laughs> looking to keep this, um, but you know, it is what it is. So yeah, that's all. Just wanted to talk a little bit about the uh, Benchmade Casbah 4401. If you guys uh, have this knife, let me know down in the comment section what you think of yours. But I was thoroughly impressed. Again, I just, I walk away. It's not like super special or crazy or fun or like tactical or, or any of that stuff. You know what I mean? There's some of the things that jump out at people that make you want a knife. Like, oh, it's really cool. This one's kind of blah. And I think maybe that's why it's overlooked. That's why I haven't really heard about it or anything. But what stands out with this one is that it works and has everything you would want in an EDC automatic. Um, the only exception might be depending on your specific situation. Again, not having as much of a, uh, a point on the blade. Let me give you a close-up of this. Um, uh, you know, I can kind of go either way. When a knife is extra pointy, I think, all right, cool. It's good for other stuff that, that knives like this aren't. But the pointier it gets, the uh, less reliable it is as far as harder use because you have more of a chance of damaging the tip. So that would really be the only drawback. And it's not like it's dull or anything, right? There's a point on there. It's totally fine. Um, but just something to consider depending on what you use your knives for. But yeah, just uh, kind of a first impression. Benchmade Casbah, very cool. If you're ever thinking, I love automatic knives, but I wish they were lighter, <laughs> you should certainly look into this one being less than three and a half ounces. It's pretty light for its size. So anyway, that's all. Let me know down in the comment section what you think of it. Hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you tomorrow with another video. Take it easy guys.